Grace? You. Ina. There you go. My name is Ina. My name is Ina. Good job. Okay. Nice to meet you, Ina. Nice to meet you. All right. So let's take a look. All right. Ina. Let's take a look. You can totally do without all those words. Okay. Okay. All right. Ina. Ina. Okay, um, before we proceed to the next slide, let me just emphasize that the reason why I wasn't um, saying my name is because I am new to this, I am young, I don't understand what you're trying, what you're asking me to do, so if you ask me my name once, you don't have to repeat it again because it's clear that I did not understand. So what you're supposed to do is to make me understand that you are asking for my name. Now at the end, you did it, um, Gracie, you. So there, I understood what you were trying to say, but there are also other ways that you can try to um, get the student to tell, to say her name. For example, Gracie Astro, you. So it's clear that the student doesn't know what you're trying, uh, asking her to do. When you said, my name is, she just copied you, but she didn't understand that you were asking for her name. So use different ways to make the student understand that you are asking for the name. And if you said, what is your name once, you don't need to repeat it if the student did not answer the first time. Think of other ways to extract the answer. And also, if, for example, it's taking a little, um, uh, uh, a long time already, you don't have to dwell on that. You don't have to stay on that part for too long. It's just the introduction. If, for example, no matter how many, for example, three attempts, um, you could also just say, Ina, because you will, you will find the name. You'll find the name of the student uh, on the dashboard. So if after several attempts, the student still doesn't understand, you could lead her to say her name so that you don't spend too much time on the introduction part. Okay, let's start on this slide, please. Ina. A. Desk. A. Desk. 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 Ina. Desk. Desk. Dex. The. Okay, so again, teacher, if, um, if, for example, you corrected the student's pronunciation once with the same style, you don't need to repeat the same, you don't need to use the same style for the next correction. For example, you already said desk and the student did not understand it, you could utilize other error correction techniques like focus on the syllable where the, error was, where, where the error was committed. And then if you already said desk, don't keep saying desk, 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 because no matter how many times you say the same word, the student is not gonna, going to automatically get it. So you have to focus, on, you have to utilize other error correction techniques. My suggestion is usually um, to focus on the um, syllable or the letter, the letter sound where the error was committed. For example, instead of just saying desk, 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 ask the student to repeat sk, desk. Emphasize on the syllable or the, the sound where this, the error is present. Okay. 
And also, um, again, just like in the name, if for example, um, the student doesn't get it for how many times? Three to four tries, you don't need to dwell on it for too long, you can move on to the next part but only do so when you have um, exhausted other measures, exhausted other um, error correction techniques. For example, after um, you can use other error correction techniques and, and if all tries don't work, you can move on to the next. Always be aware of the time. Don't spend too much time on one particular part, one particular slide. We have to manage the time that we have to cover the material with a given amount of time the whole material, I mean the whole six slides. Okay, okay. Yeah. all right, uh, Ina? Okay, again, Ina, a uh, desk. A uh, desk. A uh, desk. 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 Okay. How about? Okay. Ina. Desk. Okay. Don't give up just yet, teach, because you did not emphasize on. Did you do that? I didn't hear you say s. Because I keep saying dex instead of s. So I emphasize that I should say s. De. Mm -hmm. s. De. Before you move on, try everything first. Try three, four um, error correction techniques. Don't give up mm -hmm. to eating it in the man. <laughs> okay, from the top. <laughs> okay. All right. So one more time. Ida, a desk. A desk. Oh, maybe you're saying S, but I can't hear it. That's why. Maybe it's because ah, of Ah, okay. Ah, can, are you saying it? I'm not hearing it. I can just hear, I can just hear and then I read your mouth, you're saying, but I can't hear anything. So, okay, let's move on. <laughs> let's move on. Um, please do something about your headsets. Okay. Uh, tomorrow is my demo. <laughs> okay, okay. So, all right. Next. Ina. Desk. There, I didn't hear no. S again. I didn't hear the S at, at the end. Okay, desk. No. Yeah, I didn't hear S. What should I do? <laughs> Can you say it again, desks? Desk. Yeah, hanggang desk lang talaga. Is it me? And the others hear um, the S at the end? Is it just me? Oh. No. No. No, we don't no. hear it. Yeah. Can you try making the snake sound, teach snake? Let me try. Snake. Snake. Sarah. Saint. Sorrow. Ah, cycle. My S, no <laughs> one. My S. Tasks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yun, yun, dapat desks. Desk. Tasks. Um. Desks. Desks. They're going to ask Hello? you to read those words if, if you don't enunciate the letters. But I can see it in your mouth. You're opening it, but I just yes. can't it. Desks. Let me desk, desk, task. Let me change my headset now. Hi, Miss Ina. How long is the demo and well, interview? 30 minutes. Like both but of them? Some, mm -hmm. Yeah. 
at the beginning, there will be an interview, and then after that, you'll proceed to the demo. But for some applicants, they, they just take 15 minutes, especially if you're very good. They just take 15 minutes, um, 15 minutes to 20 minutes. I see. All right, so do we have to finish this um, entire thing during the demo? Um, it's, I, it's up to the interviewer. It's up to the interviewer. Your interviewer will give you instructions if you should finish it or if you, you should stop already. Some just um, teach one to three slides. Okay, it depends thank you. Sorry. On, um, if, you, if you show your techniques already during the first three slides, you don't need to, mm -hmm. you need to finish the whole material. Okay. All right. Sorry, teacher Gracie, getting your time. It's okay. <laughs> uh, how about this time? Desk. Desks. Desks. Um, Desks. I can hear it a little bit. Desks. But it's too low. Am I correct? Um, it's better. It's no better. teacher. It's actually good. Yeah, it's actually good. Um, I think that as Miss Ina is referring to is the one that um, we don't hear at the end, not the um, the S before the K, the last S spot. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the plural. Mm -hmm. yep. yeah, plural. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me say it again. Not, no, not as, just, uh -huh, yeah. One more? Death. Are you saying Death. that? <laughs> I really can't hear it. Yeah. Death. Death. Task. I guess there's some. There's Blast. something wrong with my headset. Blast. Maybe, maybe you can exaggerate Blast. it. Mm -hmm. For for the S, maybe you can exaggerate it. Death. I'm um, <laughs> I'm, I'm really exaggerating it already. Death. For, for, for the N sound. Note. Mm -hmm. Notebooks. Voila. Okay, um, the notebooks. I heard it. I heard the S at the end. Desks. There. there we go. There. Desks. Yeah, I can hear it. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, okay. let's continue. Okay. Ina. Desks. Desk. 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 Very good. Good job. Ina. Hmm. A notebook. A notebook. Note. Note. Notebook. Notebook. A notebook. Very good with that one, Ina. Ina. Hmm. Notebooks. Notebooks. Books. Books. Note. Notebooks. Very good. That's good. Okay. Okay, before you move on to the next slide, check comprehension first. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Ina. What's this? A desk. Wow, very good. Ina. Hmm. A notebook. Good job. Ina. Notebooks. Wow, very good with that one, Ina. Okay, teach, hold on. Um, could you say that that is already comprehension on my part? Because the answers are here. You didn't try with your props. You didn't try with other things. So if the child could read, it would be easy, too easy. And you wouldn't understand, you wouldn't know for sure if the student is already, if the student comprehended it or is just reading. So how could you do that? How could you check for comprehension? 
and um, um, uh, confirm that the student really understood the lesson. I could use some some props. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. All right. Ina. Ina. One, two, three. Pencils or desks? Okay, your, um, your question is pencils or desks. You're testing the vocabulary of the student, not whether he, the student could un apply the language that you just taught. A uh, pencil or pencil should be the option. Should be the options. A uh, pencil, pencils. Because we are not practicing the vocabulary of the pencil. We are practicing if the student can apply a uh, pencil or pencils. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So, how about this? Yeah. Next. Ina? One. One. Pen. Pen. A pen. Very good. Ina. Ruler. Hmm. When you say ruler, you show only one ruler, just to make sure you won't confuse the student. Okay. And then but when you're going to ask ruler, um, rulers, that, that's the only time that you will show two. So that when you say ruler and then you're having, you're showing two, it would, it, it would confuse the student. So if you say ruler, only one. And then when you're going to ask, just add one more. Okay. Ina? Ruler. Hmm. A ruler. Hmm. Hmm. A rulers. Are uh, rulers? Rulers. Very good. Okay, good job. I cannot move. Okay. Uh, yeah, be careful when introducing new vocabulary, guys. If um, the student is barely coping, you don't need to present a new vocabulary. But if you see that the student is coping well, that's the time that you can use other school items to ask, to check for comprehension. Mm -hmm. But if the student is advanced, of course, feel free to add more vocabulary, um, school items, uh, other school items. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Ina, um, around uh, three, three um, CCQs per slide will be enough, unless you really, it's really tricky to confirm if the student is, um, is already past comprehension. Yes? Mm -hmm. are, you going to, uh, are you going to say something? Yeah. Uh, when I present the ruler, should I say ruler or should I wait for the student to somehow say? Um, yeah, you can give, for example, if you show the student the ruler, the student will try to say it. If you can see a blank expression on the student's face, definitely the student doesn't know. That's the time that you can introduce the word ruler. So it depends on, on the, what the student is showing you. For example, show it first. So give it time. But if not, you can give the answer. You can give the word. But remember, we are not focused on the um, additional vocabulary. We are focused on the usage of a. Uh, and so if, for example, the student is confused with ruler, you don't need to focus on the pronunciation of ruler, focus on the easier ones like pen, pencil. Okay, you don't need to keep repeating and um, correcting the student saying ruler. For example, the student is uh, having a hard time pron pronouncing ruler. You don't need to, co to correct the student four times, five times, just to make sure that the student perfects the pronunciation of ruler. That is not the lesson. The lesson is ah and s. Next slide, na po. <laughs> okay. Um, 
I'm quite new to Zoom. <laughs> I'm very sorry. Oh, how can I delete this? Okay. Clear. Ah, uh, clear all drawings. Okay. Okay. So yeah, Ina, read. This is is a, a pencil. Pencil. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you say it? This is pencil. A pencil. Uh, very good. Ina. Hmm. One, two, three. Three. These are pencils. Pencils. Good. Again. These are pencils. Good job, Ina. Hmm. Yeah. Ina. Pen. Pen. A pen. Very good. This. 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 A pen. Only one. This is a pen. This is a pen. Good. Hmm. Two. Two pens. Correct. These. These is pens. These are pens. These are pens. Okay. Tina. A pencil. This. This. Is. A pencil. Very good. Okay. Ina. Hmm. One. Two. Three. Hmm. Pencils, three pencils. This, this is, or these are? These are pencils. Good job. Very good, Ina. Mm -hmm. Now, Ina. Mm. What's this? This is a ruler. Wow. What? <laughs> These are rulers. Wow. Way to go, Ida. Good job. Mm -hmm. Next slide. <laughs> You're on. Okay. Ina, mm -hmm. this is or these are. Mm. Ina, one. Mm. One a pencil. Yes, this is or these are a pencil. This is, or these are a pencil. Okay, Ina, this is a pencil. This is a pencil. Good. Okay, Ina, 
One, two. Two desks. This is or these are? Hmm. These are. These are? These are desks. Good job. Ina. Hmm. This is a notebook. Wow, correct. Ina, two, two, three. This is or these are? These are pencil. Hmm, these are pencil? These are pencils. Wow, great job, Ina. Nice. Suzuki. <laughs> okay. Hmm. One or two is enough just to confirm before moving on. Okay. Ina. Uh, yeah. Okay. Ina. Hmm. Okay. Look. A notebook. This this is a notebook, or these are notebooks. Hmm. This is a notebook. Correct. Ooh. Hmm. These are notebooks. Wow! Great job. Well done. Okay, Ina, mm -hmm. what's this? Um, make it a complete teacher. What is this? Ah, okay, <laughs> no shortcut. All right, Ina, what is this? A pencil. Good. This is a pencil. This is a pencil. Good. Ina, what is this? Hmm. This is a notebook. Correct. Ina, what are these? These, these are one, two desks. Yeah, one more. These, these are desks. Good job. Ina, what are these? These are pencils. Wonderful. Okay. Ina, hmm. what are these? These are notebooks. Correct. Ina, what, what is this? This is a pen. Wow, you're so good, Ida. Great job. All right. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, Tisha, at this part, did you notice that the student caught up pretty well already? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so what can you do to make the lesson a little bit more challenging? Because since it shows the student has obviously adjusted already and comprehended the lesson, so what's the next step? After confirming comprehension, what should you do? Like extend the, I mean, extend mm -hmm. the yeah. lesson. Like, um, yeah. <laughs> Okay, like I could ask the student, like, what's the color of the notebook? Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, perhaps I could also insert and check whether the students know other school supply vocab vocabularies. Yes, but if you've already introduced additional three or four in the first few slides, you've already introduced four, you don't need to bombard with too many. Mm -hmm. For example, you've already introduced four, no need to add four more, three more. So you can just mm -hmm. focus on those that she already knows. For example, you can just ask her, do you have notebooks or have you got notebooks? How many notebooks have you got? And then you could push it a little more. Kung kaya pa ng student, if you think that the student is really um, coping very well, you could um, ask you could ask her to show you her pencil or show you her pen. Okay. All right. Got it, Miss Tina. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> this part again okay ina hmm. what color red or blue um blue, color blue correct ina how many notebooks since the student is a little bit um, adjusted already, when the answer when the student answers correctly but in incomplete sentences, lead the student to complete the sentences before moving on mm. to one. For example, it's color blue, or it's blue, or it's a blue notebook. Okay, so okay, Paul. All That's right, not, so you're doing great. It's okay. So Ina, what color? Hmm. Red or blue? It's blue. It's blue. It's blue. Okay, good. Ina, how many, how many notebooks have you got? Um. I have got I have got two notebooks. Very good. Good job. Mm -hmm. uh, more That's more okay. couple. That's okay. No need to uh, stress the student. Okay. Uh, Eight. I cannot. Okay. Okay. Again, I always remind my the applicants um, that when you see these buttons, it means you can play them, and you will hear these sentences when you play them. But if they don't work, you can just say you can just try and then just say these are desks. If it if it doesn't work, if the button doesn't work. But for this time, this time, of course, it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm just gonna... All right, Ina. Mm. Yes. Yes. No. No. Okay, it's good to teach that you're introducing yes and no to check if the student understands yes and no first before proceeding to the slide, to the objective of the slide. But if you see that the student is obviously advanced, no need to check for yes or no. Just a reminder, it depends on the student's performance. It's a good idea to check first if the, the student understands yes or no, but if it's obvious that the student knows it because the student obviously was um, showing that she was advanced, she's advanced, no need to do it. 
So it's up to you and it's up to, it depends on the student's performance. Okay, all right, Ina. Okay, circle. Hmm. These are desks. These are desks. Yes? No. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Circle. Yes. 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 Very good. Ina. These are notebooks. Yes. No. No. Very good, Ina. Okay, good job. So, Ina, what's this? What's this? What is this? <laughs> okay. Ah, Ina, what is this? This is a notebook. Good job. Okay. Now, more CCQs on yes or no, just one or two. For example, show pencils. These are pencils, yes or no? Show pen. Oh, okay. This is a All pen. Right. Ina, these are pencils. Hmm. Yes. Yes, correct. Ina, hmm. this is a Pen. Yes. Very good. Good job. Okay. Ina. Okay. Yeah. Let me clear the drawing. Okay. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. So, Ina. Okay. Read. Hmm. These these are desk desks desks. Hmm. Yes. No. Right. No. No. Okay. Right. No. Here. Right. No. Good. So, Ina, what is this? What's this? This is a desk. Good job. Very good. Nina. Hmm. Read. This is a pencil. Hmm. Yes. No. Okay, um, teach just for example, if the student is having a hard time and really couldn't um, write the words yes or no, are there any ideas? What should you do instead? Um, perhaps I can just ask him or her to make actions of the yes or no and say it at, together with the actions. Okay, or you can also write yes or no here and then ask her ask her to encircle the correct answer. Mm. Just like what you did with the previous slide. Um, circle, she, she can obviously circle yes or no. So it's up to you, but those are all good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, CCQ <laughs> <laughs> And then how we know where this is a pass. Okay. That's okay. We've already done CCQs. Okay, good. 
So, um, uh, is your camera going to be the same? Your background going to be the same for your demo? I no. <laughs> I'm gonna change right. my background for tomorrow. I'm Happy gonna put lighting. stickers. Yeah, I actually, uh, I did not use my ring light this time, <laughs> but tomorrow I'm gonna use it. And then some accessories. Can friend the accessories. Yes, I'm just somehow worried about the headset. Um, um it's better now. It's better now. But just in oh, case, okay. be ready with other options because the they will also ask you, for example, if you experience technical difficulties like problem with your headset, problem with your webcam, problem with internet connection, what are you going to do? So it's better to prove to them that if you encounter such a thing, that will come automatic backup, may come with other headset. But mm -hmm. this one is better than the... Is this the second one that you use or the first one? The second one. Oh, yeah, the old one, your old one. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. So just maintain Which, the kid friendly environment. And then um, if you could add more kid friendly, um, unique, creative, out of the box rewards, much better. Because the rewards actually, you, you gave were just, you know. Actually, I have. <laughs> I have. <laughs> Then use them, and also these are um, pretty common, right? So the stars. So it's up to how you present them. Um, use unique ways para makuha yung attention ng student when you give stars, or if you have other things aside from stars, better because we have stars um, on the platform that you just need to click. By the way, a lot of teachers forget to click on them during the actual demo, so it doesn't really affect your demo. But it would be better if you could use them um, in your actual demo. Okay, Coach. Yes. I have a question. Okay. Um, teacher Gracie, can you please click slide four? Okay. Well, Coach, it says here that take turns asking the appropriate question for each picture. So does that mean that we have to um first I would ask the question, then the student would answer, and then after afterwards after he mastered that or she mastered that does that mean that the student needs to learn how to ask these questions as well yes if the student depending can. on their level yes but in my experience uh -huh. it's quite hard especially if it's a trial lesson to get the student to understand that you're you want him or her to ask that question but if you could do it because the student proved that she would be able to, she, she's advanced, she's um, breezing through the lesson, sure, try it. But if it doesn't work, don't uh -huh. do it. So I would only do that if I really feel that the student is really advanced, can, yeah. you know, breezing through the lesson. Okay. And is it all right if I would uh, show you my my stuff for tomorrow? Because the last comment you, you gave me back then is uh, improve my reward system. What else? Um, modeling, stuff like that. I just want to hear your feedback about my, um, what they call this. Um, reward system because this is my first time using it tomorrow. Is it okay? Okay, sure. Okay. Um, this the concept is the same. Is the same with the uh, Cookie Monster, but instead it's the it's kind of dark. I'm still fixing my background. Uh, the magic wishing well. So the the concept is the same. You have objects inside. I have vegetables. I have the ice cream thingy, which it, wherein you can pile it up. So yes, yeah, so you can remove it. And, and it has uh, and uh, as for the reward tokens i have gold coins silver coins and stars so i mean is that doable um just make sure it's not it's gonna, not going to turn out complicated and it's not going to confuse the student as long as it's clear and easy for the student to understand yes it's good because it's something very new something unusual something creative just make sure it's not going to turn out um, okay confusing this to end up confusing. Anyway, I won't add any instructions. What I would do is, for example, um, they, they might get a silver coin. I would just add it here. So maybe I will say two okay. like that. And then I would get something here and then oh. so exchange and uh, exchanging the reward for something. So get something out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good enough. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Thank you, coach just execute it properly so that it won't confuse the student, but it's creative and something okay. you've never seen before. 
Okay. Your lighting, you. teacher Jeffrey, lighting. Oh yeah, I do have a ring light and an extra. I did not open it because kind of busy. I'm preparing stuff for tomorrow. So. You've been ready for how many months now? It's okay. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> hope so. I hope so. <laughs> okay. Any more questions? None so far. Yeah, what the others? Teacher Gracie, um, you just maintained the kid friendly environment. You did great. This is the first time I saw you. If you would just incorporate the things that I suggested, which you did the man after, um, I think you're you're gonna you're gonna be fine. Just um improve on your energy <laughs> and towards Yeah. Are there any fillers? <laughs> no, only the first one. Yung, okay, all right. So let's go oh. and let's take a look at this. What did you say? What exact words did you say? But after that, wala naman. Mm -hmm. Parang na, I mean, it's kind of kind of awkward on my end. Yeah. Na wala nang like mga not, transitions. Yeah. Like you're not doing no. mm -hmm. um, Yes. Um, yung TPR, again, TPR is very important, but also uh, measure the student, the student's response. If the student finds it corny, if the student is too advanced for it, no need for too much or excessive TPR. But generally, TPR talaga. Um, very important, kahit exage sa una, okay lang. Pero as you go along, as you get to know the student, dun mo na i-adjust sa perfect level kung ano yung needs ng student. Uh, uh, Coach Ina, paano po ba yung TPR sa read? Ganyan? Read? Mm -hmm. Ah, I just read. Okay, say. <laughs> Parati kong ginagamit tong read. <laughs> say pala to. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just be consistent. If you use it the first time with read and the next time say and then what, so it's going to confuse the student. Just be consistent. Kung ito yung read mo, yan na lagi yung gagamitin mo. O kaya ito yung una, tapos baglang mame, ito na mame, ito na. So that's going to confuse the student. Just be consistent with your TPR. Um, you weren't using too, too much TPR, pero uh, for, for as, as we progressed with the slide, I proved to be a, a student naman na hindi masyadong kailangan ng TPR. The first time I was trying to portray na naninibago pa, hindi ko pa alam na, na, ano pa, na, 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 pa. But when I got used to it, I was able to catch up well. Um, for this kind of student, no need naman masyado yung TPR. Pero generally, the first, um, the first time you meet the student, yun talaga yung una mong gagawin. A lot of TPR. And then nag-a-adjust ka lang along the way. Are there questions from the other teachers? Ina. Hello, Miss Ina. Hi, Miss Ina. Can you hear me well this time? Um, yes. Yes, it's because my speaker is on full volume, but I don't know with the others. Can you talk again, Peach? Hello, everyone. Hello, can you hear me well? Okay. Hello. Hello. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Just to check, <laughs> because my 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 demo will be on Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday in the afternoon. Can I also do a mock demo with you? Maybe okay. tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh, oh. Uh, Anytime tomorrow. Ako din okay. Miss Ina. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> Are you? Okay, oh, oh. Yeah. All right, again. Let's meet again tomorrow. Okay, again. I'll give you my schedule tomorrow. Thank you. I actually freed my ano, nagbawas ako ng classes for you guys. Kaya galingan niyo. Wow. Thank you, Paul. I'll give you my schedule. I'll give you my schedule. When I'm available, let's just meet again. Para mag-check kung ma-apply na ni Teacher Gracie and then I'll check also Teacher Diana Lynn. Whoever wants to join, pwede rin maka-join kahit na mag-observe, okay lang. If you have questions, you can ask questions too. Teacher Ina. Yes? Yung classes ba sa Nova Kid uh, per hour or gano'ng katagal yung isang class? 25 minutes. Ah, uh, 25 din. Uh, alright. Sige po. Yun lang. Mm -hmm. Hello, yeah. Teacher Ina. Can you um, um, hear me clearly po? Yes. Just wanna check my... Yes, okay. yes. Better okay, than po. Teacher Gracie's and Teacher Dionelid. Ito nga, yeah. So it's not really my problem. Your your mic your mic really is not that loud, okay. Teacher Gracie and Teacher Diana Lynn. Because with Teacher Joey and Teacher Rudy, I heard them very well, clear, loud and clear. 
Can you check my lighting po? Okay. Is it okay po? Okay. Uh, just a moment. Okay. okay. I'm actually... Right. Devil is on the 27th. Okay. Yes. Sorry. Um, it's right. <laughs> I... Many cam. <laughs> sorry. Uh, paano to? Ninexit ko kasi yung many cam. Kasi okay. sabi magka problema daw sa... So... Uh, yung sa many cam ko kasi teach. Nandito yung light. Mga lighting. Tapos yun tinanggal ko para i-check sa zoom. Ganito pong lumabas. Sandali lang po. Yes. So just a reminder. Start video teach. You may use many cam. Select me yung camera mo. You yes, may use ma many cam but... With some applicants, they had prob they had um, connection problems and problems with their computer during the demo. So if you're not sure that your 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 computer can handle it, better not use many <laughs> unless you're confident that your computer is really that fast. Internet connection is really that fast. Um, is uh, lighting okay po? Um, sa many kampo siya naka. <laughs> Brightness na adjust po. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And the uh, rewards po, I would just like to ask. Okay. Kung... So, I, <laughs> this is from my, 